Hello, my name is Brad Huddleston. In this video, I will show you how to download and compile Calculix, a free FEA software on Linux. So the reason we want to compile this from the source code is because later on we may want to write our own models and implement them in Calculix, and for that we have to be able to compile it. So that's what we're going to do here. Now I'm going to get to Calculix through the ICME website. So that's at icme.hpc.msstate.edu. Once you're there, go over to the left-hand side and click on Resources. Then you'll see an entry for Repository of Codes. This page will have a list of a bunch of different codes, pre-processing codes, processing codes, and post-processing codes. And we're going to look in the processing codes because we're looking for Calculix, which is, an, which is an FEA solver. And you can see it's an open source finite element code. So just go ahead and click on that. And here you'll find some directions on actually how to build that. Uh, you can also go to the Calculix web page and they have some directions as well. But we're going to follow these here. So there's a couple prerequisites that we need to be able to build Calculix. Specifically, AR pack and spools. And so we'll go through how to download and make them as well. So the first thing we need to do is open up a terminal and browse into a folder where you want to install Calculix. So I'm just going to make a directory for Calculix and change into that. Then we're going to download the, the packages. So you can actually, you can go to this link and download them, or you can just copy these two lines into the terminal and paste them, and it'll just download them automatically. And there you go, those are downloaded. Uh, next, we also need to unpack those, and so again, you can just copy these two lines straight from the t uh, tutorial, paste those in there, and it'll unpack there. So now you can see in this directory we have an AR pack folder. And that's the uh, that's one of the dependencies that we need for Calculix. Now before I go forward, uh, there's one more thing that you may need if you don't have it already, and that is a, a Fortran compiler. I'm going to use GFortran. So what I did is I installed GFortran. So if you don't have that, if you're on an, a Ubuntu style system, you can do something like this. sudo apt install gfortran. We're actually going to need a Fortran compiler and a C compiler, so make sure you have both of those. Um, the C compiler, if you have an Ubuntu system, probably is uh, installed by default, um, but whatever one you want to use on your system, just make sure you have both of those compilers. Alright, so now let's actually compile AR pack. So I'm going to change into that folder and I'm going to edit the make file because we need to change a few things in there. So whatever you use to edit files, um, for here it's mousepad and that'll open up a text editor here. And we're just going to change a few things. The first thing is where AR pack is installed. So I have actually installed it in the home directory and then you can see Calculix AR pack. So I'm going to add here, I'm going to add Calculix. <clears throat> and then the other thing that we need to do is change the compilers, well, change the make and shell commands. So if you scroll down to the towards the bottom, you'll see these lines for make and shell. And for me, those exact executables don't, uh, don't exist, but the, the make and shell commands are on the path, so that'll work better for me. One more thing, I want to change the Fortran compiler. Uh, as you saw, I have, I've been using gfortran, so I'm going to change that to gfortran, and I'm going to delete that flag, because I found that it did not work with gfortran. Alright, so that should cover that. One more thing that you can change if you want to uh, is the platform. Um, I'm going to I'm going to change that to Ubuntu just just because, and save that, and you can close that. Now there's one more thing we need to edit in here. Um, inside the util directory, we need to edit 
uh, this second dot f. Now this one tries to call a a, a computer function called eTime, and your computer may not have it. I have found that mine does not. So I've commented out that line and everything works the same. So you may need to do that as well. All right, so with that, we're actually ready to build it. Let's go back up so that you're in this AR pack directory and make lib. And once you do that, it'll start making, and this might take a few minutes, um, but it'll, it'll move on towards the end. All right, and so with that, you can see that we're done. And if you uh, look at that directory, you'll see that we have a library for uh, AR pack. Okay, go back up so that you're in your in your directory where you want to install Calculix. Uh, for me, it's just this Calculix directory. And now we're going to install spools. So again, we need to download it, and we can do that the same way we did with AR pack. I'm just going to copy that into the shell, and that'll download. Now, in this case, though. When we extract this, it won't have its own subfolder. So what we want to do is create a subfolder for it. And we're going to create this folder called spools.2.2. So we're going to make that subdirectory. Then we're going to move the, uh, the compressed file into that subdirectory and change into it. And then we're going to unpack it. And you can do that yourself, or you can just copy that all and paste it in there and boom, it's done. <clears throat> and you can see we're in the spools directory now. Now, we also need to change one thing in the make file uh, for this as well. So we're going to mouse pad. This one's just called make inc. And right here at the top, we're actually going to use gcc rather than this one here. So. Uh, and again, this is your C compiler, whichever one you want to use. But that's the one that I'm going to use. All right, and with that, we can make this one as well. And again, this might take a few minutes, but just let it build. All right, and with that, that one is also done. So if you look there and scroll up, you'll see there's a spools.a. Uh, so there's a spools library. So again, change up so that you're in the Calculix directory, and now we're going to actually download and install Calculix. So you can download it the same way we've downloaded the other two, or you can go to the Calculix uh, web page and do that. I'm just going to paste that in there and let it download. And this one will also extract, but we'll do it a little bit differently. We need to use this uh, vunzip and then tar to do that. So again, I'm just going to copy those commands and that's all expanded now. Now you can see we have a Calculix directory. <clears throat> we also need to uh, change the make file for this one a little bit. So we're going to open that up. It's in the, so if you go into that Calculix, the Calculix directory that was just created, then under CCX, then under source, and then open the uh, make file, which is in this case just make file. So if you open that up, this one's much shorter, uh, but we're going to change a couple things. I'm going to change the C compiler to GCC. Uh, the Fortran compiler is fine, and spools is in the right place. We changed AR pack. We changed this to uh, Ubuntu. <coughs> And that should be good. All right. Now you can, just as you did before, you can type make. This one's much bigger. It might take a lot more, um, but just let it build. All right. And with that, we're actually done. So the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to copy the executable that we just created, which is just ccx underscore 2.12 if you're using version 2.12. I'm going to copy it up to the directory where we wanted to install Calculix. So 
If we go back up there into that calculus directory, now we'll, we'll see we have this CCX executable. And that's all you need right there. So with that, you've actually installed Calculix and you can run FEA on your own computer. Thanks for watching.